Uh, hi, I'm Joey Staskowski. I'm a junior from Waterville, New York. I'm Jerry Coho. I'm a sophomore from Bellwood, Pennsylvania. I'm Brandon Peskowski. I'm a junior from Ridgeway, Iowa. Casey Maxson. I'm a junior from Lawrence, Kansas. I'm Jared Bunker, and I'm a sophomore from Hamilton, Illinois. And I'm Taylor Adams. I'm a junior from Ashland, Virginia. All right, so the goal of the, uh, the, goal of the team here is to take this pile of parts and construct it into a 1926 Model T touring car um, as quickly as they can. Uh, Go! Previous to this, uh, they were as, uh, they had a now and the which you would really We have the fuel tire off of the wheel. The wheel has to stay on the car. You fuel the tire off, you either fix or replace your gear to put it back on, and then pump it up with air. You can imagine doing that on a dirty, muddy road. Uh, how big of a the engine is a four-cylinder uh, side valve engine yeah. producing 20 horsepower. Oh, that, come on down. Uh, here you go. But at the time, the uh, road conditions were not meant for high speed, so it was really how much torque and how much work you could get out of it, not how fast it was. Not, not, not fast. Not that fast. All right. Come, come back with the motor. Come back. Come back. Okay. You in? Yeah. Hot now. You may have noticed that this color on the transmission is part of the engine assembly on the Model T. Unlike Unlike the standard yeah. manual transmission, yeah, the, three, the pedal yeah, on the left is your clutch, yeah. but when you press all the way down, it operates low gear, and you take your foot off, and it automatically goes into high gear. Neutral is a space in between. Uh, the pedal on the far right is your brake, but it actually just operates a band inside the transmission that slows down the drive shaft. And then the pedal in the yeah, center is your reverse. It's probably not working. Hold the clutch in neutral and then push the pedal in the center. It's definitely not working. Brad, do you clock. want to do the front of the exhaust for me? The throttle is handled. The uh, audio yeah, is not turning on the left. Yeah, I'm just putting mud up right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's currently at 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Every part of the Model T was designed to be serviceable by the owner. Even the exhaust system. You guys are most ready for blow out the uh, no. exhaust here. Rust out, you can buy and rebuild it. You can take it apart and you can rebuild the muscle. So, every part of the exhaust is made to be serviceable. You lied. Yeah, I know I did. Remember, Joe, you can't. Yeah, I was just making it. Point at <laughs> That's pretty nice guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what. Has anyone here ever driven a original Model T? Yeah. 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 Uh, it used to be seniors who have a different car that seniors were something kind of lost during our car show. They would take uh, the car and we'd always be really excited to do it. You know, Ready? Ready? Uh, One, two, three. These guys really came together and they wanted to build something we're watching competitively and uh, with some real practices. And so, these are really cool. We started doing this and uh, we had a sponsorship. So we said these guys take the take out to the live show and events. Front is yeah. Help represent the push program. Alright, slow it. Alright, okay, there we go. Oh, Alright. Stringer, Casey. 
The Turing Farm body was a very standard uh, oh, right. entry level so uh, body style at that time. Uh, it was large enough that you could fit the whole family in it, but it was very inexpensive. You know, there no windows. You take those, I'll get this side. You just would you'd have a problem if, they, uh, if it was raining really badly or snowing. Five minutes. Hey, boy, we're coming in the right, you want to get it? Yeah, yeah. Hold, hold, hold. Ow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.